Hey guys, so uh, in this video I just want to do a very quick little tutorial video here of how to maximize the battery backup on your Asus Zenfone 2. I see quite a lot of people complaining about the battery life here of the 4 gig model with the higher end processor. So just wanted to uh, check through some things here which uh, you may uh, not be aware of so we can see how to increase that. Personally I'm getting about 4 to 5 hours of screen on time so uh, it's not really been a big issue to me. I have noticed, however, since the last update, uh, the uh, software update uh, ending with 18, which came on early June, uh, the battery life seems to be a little bit better. Uh, I did actually factory reset the device and also do a uh, wipe of the cache. You can do that by powering the device off. Uh, press the uh, top button and the volume up button, hold them together until you see the recovery environment. Then you have to do it again and you get access to the cache wipe options. And I definitely recommend you do that because uh, it does definitely help with the battery life here. Uh, I think part of the problem obviously is the fact that it's running uh, Android 5.0 because there's quite a lot of uh, kind of uh, battery issues with this particular software but uh, there are some things you can do here to make sure that you are kind of optimizing the device uh, the first thing I would suggest here is going into the Google settings and looking for now cards uh, which uh, if you've got that on personally I'd say you know turn that off it's not 100% necessary it does take up quite a lot of battery life here so you know do turn that off turning it off isn't going to make the phone you know dumb phone or anything you still got a lot of uh, functionality uh, without the need for that uh, also there's obviously some obvious things here uh, making sure that your screen brightness is on auto about 50 to 60 percent i t tend to leave it on uh, for the purpose of this video it's a bit higher so you can see the screen uh, but uh, do make sure that you are kind of having that on average uh, the next big thing here is the location services so if you have to have it on like you use the navigation quite a lot uh, definitely make sure you're using the GPS only mode here uh, I think the high accuracy mode is definitely a massive battery drainer so do get that off if you are using that uh, the next thing you want to do here is uh, with the weather settings uh, which as you can see we do have a very nice weather app here However, the more it sinks, it does actually tend to drain uh, the battery life. So do I put, I put that on like a four-hour schedule. I, I think that's uh, about sufficient, really. Uh, there's no real need to have uh, like a weather updates every minute. So do uh, make sure that you check that. And the other things you can try here, uh, which are quite uh, good, is if you go into the settings here. Uh, and then you go into the Asus cover options. Uh, you can see we do have this Asus enable Asus cover option. That's for if you've got the accessory. Personally, I don't really tend to use many cases, so I would turn that off so you don't have that draining your battery. Uh, also, we do have some other things in here, such as the uh, motion kind of controls, which uh, should be in here somewhere. Uh, where is it? So I can't seem to see it at the moment. Maybe I'm just going blind. But uh, it is actually somewhere around here. There is like a setting where you can uh, change like the way that the uh, screen, you can turn it off with the double tap. Uh, you know, I'd say if you're going for the maximum battery life here, you could get that off because at the end of the day, the screen, while it's off, it's searching for your finger. Uh, when you know you do this also with the camera uh, gesture as well you know it's searching for your finger here so uh, do make sure that you do turn that off uh, and uh, also obviously we do have some other settings in there uh, which uh, we can see here if we go into them uh, big one here under the Wi-Fi setting if you go to the uh, settings here you'll see this scanning always available make sure that's turned off it's a big battery drainer I uh, always notice it on the battery stats uh, so make sure you've not got that on and 
there are also some other things in here as well uh, if you go to the accounts uh, you have a lot of mail accounts obviously when you're setting up your phone uh, if you add like a lot of IMAP accounts or POP accounts make sure you go into the settings of them and change the sync schedule to like once every hour because as opposed to like every or push schedule that's going to drain a lot of battery life here uh, so definitely uh, do that uh, another thing to do when you do get the device actually is to make sure that you get rid of all of the junk which is uh, preloaded on there by Asus. Uh, you can see we do have uh, quite a few apps here. I have gotten rid of like Omelette Chat, uh, TripAdvisor and uh, the Clean Master app and things like that. You don't really need all those taking up resources here. And it's particularly uh, you know, important with the 4 gig model because it tends to keep everything in memory uh, because it's got so much to play with. So make sure you get that all off your device. Disable anything that's not needed uh, by going into the settings as well. And then going to apps. And then going to all. And you can go through this list basically. Uh, basically picking out things which are not 100% needed uh, you know uh, there's quite a few stuff in there uh, you know give it a test obviously don't go disabling things which may be necessary for the well functioning of your phone uh, but uh, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff in there that you can just go into uh, and then you know force stop here and some of them allow you to disable them which is good and also uh, as you start up the device you do have the ability to kind of uh, stop apps from starting up using resources using the auto start manager here uh, which is very good uh, it gives you the ability to boost the device as well so make use of that please and also obviously it goes without saying but uh, worthwhile here to uh, basically make sure that you've not got the NFC on. You do get NFC with the higher end model here. You don't need that on all the time. Uh, make sure you've got the Bluetooth off as well. You see a lot of people moaning about battery and they're using the Bluetooth all the time. And the glove mode as well. You don't need that on unless you wear gloves or live in a cold climate. So, you know, I think doing these things pretty much you will get a good battery life runtime here. Uh, it is worthwhile mentioning that the Zenfone recently had its bootloader uh, unlocked on XDA so I do expect quite a few ROMs to start coming out for it which will probably have even better battery life. I think part of the issue is because of the Android 5.0 uh, which is not the best version of Android so you know do hold tight for that as well as a last resort option but you know, personally, I'm having good good battery times here with the Zenfone 2, particularly since the last firmware update. Uh, and uh, I hope you found this video informative. And yeah, uh, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.